What up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Very special episode today. Today, my five-year-old daughter Mila is gonna teach me how to make lazy cabbage roll. Lazy cabbage rolls. <laughs> it's all the light. Oh, it's all the light. Okay, I am here. I'm here with Chef Mila. Hi, Chef Mila. Hi, Chef Dad. Uh, and today, what are you teaching me how to make? Lazy cabbage rolls. Lazy cabbage rolls. Why don't you tell the people what goes into them? So, it's so this is cabbage. Beef. We have four packs of beef. It's actually turkey today. Yeah, ground turkey. What are we having these cans? Um, so this is tomato pa paste. Tomato paste. What about these? These are diced tomatoes. Uh, the good thing about lazy cabbage rolls, you can put absolutely anything you want into them. We're gonna season them a little bit. Uh, we have our fresh herbs there: basil, thyme, oregano, and rosemary. And then. We're actually gonna add rice to it. I don't think we'll include the cooking of the rice in the video, because, I mean, Google how to cook rice. You can you just, what did you say? Who are you talking to? The camera. No. Yeah, because that's the audience, that's the people. Do you want to start making the cabbage rolls? Yes. Okay, let's get to it. What do we have over here? What's uh, over, what's, what are these? Pans and pots. Okay, so I have my non-stick pot. What we're gonna do in here is we're going to cook the cabbage, and then we're also going to cook the turkey. And then this pot is gonna be for our sauce. So once one item is cooked in here, we're gonna add it to the sauce and let it simmer. And we're just gonna keep doing that process. First step, I'm gonna say let's cut some cabbage. Let's get the sauce going actually. Okay. That one you need a spoon for. You gotta scoop it out. Oh. Because tomato paste is there. You go. And then can I mix it around, please? Of course. For now, though, we're just gonna get it in there. Then we're gonna chop up some herbs, okay? Because we want to season this, and then we're just gonna let. Then we're just gonna let it simmer for a while. That's flattering to me. Okay. Let's go make some herbs. You're gonna make herbs. We're gonna plant them, wait for a season for them to grow, pluck them from their homes, butcher them, and throw them into my food. Are you gonna record now? Okay, Mila's gonna try and record. Hey Dad, what do you have? Well, after a long winter, we've grown basil, thyme, oregano, and rosemary. And now, they're ready. You wanna be in the video? You're in the video, okay. So now we have some borderline homemade Italian seasoning. This is basil that I'm putting in. Basil seasoning. <laughs> and I'm put a little bit of salt. You don't want to put too much salt early because you can always add salt, but you can't take salt out. And we'll uh, cover that up and leave it. Mm. All right, let's start the rest of it. Okay, up next we got our cabbage. Hey dudes. <laughs> what did you say? Nothing. You say hey dudes? Yeah. Hey dudes, up next we've got our cabbage. Let's go. <laughs> what kind of strip are you cutting, Jim? Uh, like a lengthwise one. Like thin or thick? Uh, I like to go a little bit thicker than most people would expect to find, I think, but still pretty thin, like a centimeter or so. I cut it in here. Yeah, go ahead. So when you're doing it, sweetheart, something like this. If you need to put a little more weight into it. Watch your fingers, there you go. There you go, perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna let that simmer the entire time we're cooking. I'm not timing anything. If you'll notice, I didn't measure any of my herbs. I didn't measure my salt. Almost everything in a recipe like this should be by taste. So as it starts to cook and sort of reduce and thicken a bit, we're gonna taste it to see if we enjoy it and then add any other seasonings that we need to. She's still just murdering this cabbage right now, which I love. The easy and important part, just taking out the core. Easy peasy lemon squeeze it. Thank you. 
What kind of oil is this? Uh, mm, I have avocado oil. Olive oil, good try though. So I'll turn on your stove. I'm gonna put this higher, I'm gonna put it to a medium high. Again, you could do this on medium, you could do it on high. I genuinely don't think it matters. I'm sure a chef would tell you otherwise. Okay, that's good. You know what I'm realizing? Mm. Probably gonna want a bigger pot. The spoon? Ta-da! Just like that. Uh, so, just gonna add a little more oil. And then again, I like to add a little salt and pepper through it. Good job with that wooden spoon, mixing that all around. I like to do my rice in a pressure cooker or an instant pot. It takes 20 minutes. I set it to 21 or 22. It does all the work for you and you can make three to eight cups at a time. For this batch, I will use about four cups of uncooked brown or brown rice. I had about three and a half cups of rice there. To that I'm gonna add almost a full four cups, four and a half cups of water, which normally if I were cooking it in a pot, I'd probably do a two to one ratio of water, but in the instant pot, it is, you can almost do identical water and rice. Mixing that rice around, go back to my cabbage. You could technically do this all in one pot. Um, and the way that you would do that is you would first cook your cabbage, then you would add your turkey, or you could do opposite orders, honestly, and then strain that or keep the sauce in there from the turkey if you really want, and then add your tomatoes and everything right to that, and then you're using a one pot. I just like to kind of keep it all separate and then have one giant pot afterwards. You're so funny. Do this, but you can also do this. Do this, but then you can also do this and this. I'm giving options for the people, you know? Cooking is not a one-size-fits-all journey, Mommy? Marina. Mommy? Okay, the rice is ready. Again, you could probably saute it a little longer, so I'm gonna hit cancel on my rice cooker. And then I'm gonna go to manual, and you see it's set for 21 minutes. Add my water. Now once it's generated this oh once it's generated a seal, 21 minutes later we will have perfect rice. Chef Mila, what do you have there? Paprika and garlic. Paprika and garlic, okay. So we're gonna add those to our sauce. Go ahead. Again, you'll notice I'm not measuring anything, and I trust my five-year-old to definitely not over or underdo it. Go ahead. You didn't put any in. I know. I okay, garlic that. first. More, 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 more. Don't be shy, we love garlic. I totally trust her. There's no way to over or underdo it. Yeah. You you put as much as you want. When you feel like it's good, you stop. Beautiful. The perfect amount. One thing I found about online recipes is they always call for too little of every seasoning. I think that's so that it's to everyone's palate and then you're meant to season to taste. So Mila's going to mix that together. And now you'll see this cabbage. Since we've been cooking it for a bit, there's no more of those big chunks. Like this is just one big piece, but all those pieces that were together uh, have kind of separated in the moisture. So we're gonna quickly add this to the sauce and we're gonna let all of that simmer together and uh, incorporate each other's flavors. While Mila mixes that sauce together, I am going to very quickly use the exact same pot. I'm not gonna change anything about the heat and I'm going to start our turkey, which is just as easy. We're gonna add a little more olive oil because this is my all-clad stainless steel pan. It is not going to uh, be non-stick. Since we strain it, uh, it doesn't really matter that you're adding extra fat if you're trying to be health conscious or whatever. Okay, so nice and easy. We have our turkey in here. We're just gonna mash it up with this wooden spoon. Can you take a look at the beautiful sauce that Mila's mixed for us? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover that up again, Mila. Here's your lid. Cover that up real quick. And we're gonna let that simmer. Okay, so I have strained the turkey as you, or yes, the ground turkey, as you can see. And I'm just gonna quickly add it to my sauce. And then from there, I'm just waiting six more minutes for the rice. And then the next shot is gonna be our final product. And then we're gonna plate up dinner for the family. Okay, so we, we, come here, chef. 
We have made lazy cabbage rolls. They're very hot. Are they delicious? Yes. Okay, we're gonna weigh those out in that bowl. We're gonna weigh it out to 12 portions on the screen for the past five seconds and probably the next 10, I will have the macros. And you'll see that it's a very high protein, low carb, low fat meal. Very delicious. Well, not super low carb. Um, what's up, dudes? Do you have anything else to say? What's up, dudes? Okay. Um, so again, easy, easy meal prep. Total time in the kitchen, less than an hour. Most people spend an hour cooking dinner every night. We now have a total of 12 dinners in under an hour. So meal prep, y'all. That's what Sundays are for. We'll catch y'all next time. Mila, say deuces. Deuces. What's up, dudes?